Thank you, Chapel Hill. Thank you, UNC. What a warm welcome. You made us feel very welcome in your hometown and on this beautiful campus. What makes it that much more special is today I'm actually celebrating my 22nd anniversary with my wife over here who's in the audience. There was, there was no way I was going to spend my anniversary away from her. I've been married for 22 years, and I know if I did that, I would have discovered the true meaning of lift and taking flight. <laughs> now more than ever, we need entrepreneurship to advance social and economic prosperity for us all. Now more than ever, we need entrepreneurship to advance social and economic prosperity for us all. Why am I saying this? What does it have anything to do with Kite Patch? That's a patch that repels mosquito, which is the reason why we were invited here to speak in the first place. I have to take you a few years back to share with you the circumstances that led to this very moment me standing up here in front of you. There comes a time when you realize your passion. Entrepreneurship is mine. I believe in entrepreneurship. I believe entrepreneurship can make a difference. I have been blessed with family, friends, community, team that supported me throughout my entrepreneurial endeavors. My first company, developed mission-critical applications for companies that wanted to do business online. I was a founding participant in the very first research and innovation park in my hometown, Riverside, California. I had the opportunity to work on converging GPS and wireless way back then before it became a commodity in everybody's cell phone. And my last company before this one, we developed video game controllers where you can actually play video games using your body motion before Nintendo Wii came out. We had products worldwide uh, as far as Bahrain. It was a great feeling for any entrepreneur to see their products actually on the shelf. We made it to QVC or we made it on QVC a couple times. Life is good. I was living the dream. I learned a lot from our successes, but I learned the most from my failures. 2008, early 2008, the recession started creeping in. I used every resource I had access to to survive and to keep the company alive, my previous company. Thinking, just like many of us did, that the recession was going to last a few more months and things will come back to normal. That day never came. And instead, October 2008, the recession became the Great Recession. Stock market collapsed. Major institutions were disappearing. Even some governments around the globe were on the verge of bankruptcy. Down they went, and we went down with them. Years and years of building a business disappeared over a few hours. I remember that day when I laid off everybody, including myself. I laid off my team. That became friends and family. As hard as this was for me, the most disappointing is the feeling that I let people down, my team and everyone else. You know, when we hit lows, a new opportunity always rise. And I know many of you can relate to that. When we hit lows, new opportunity always comes up. While everybody was searching for answers, a new opportunity was or became obvious to myself and my team. 
There are too many great discoveries in universities like this and universities around the US and universities around the globe that hold the potential to solve some of our biggest problems. We decided to create a new model that focuses on turning amazing discoveries into actions and into solutions. We wanted to connect the dot, but we knew we had to take a whole different approach than the one we're used to. We knew we had, we had to discover a new way to entrepreneur. We had to collaborate. We had to come up with a new way, which is collaborative entrepreneurship. That model took form in innovation economy crowd. Very simple concept, but we believe very powerful. We turn discoveries into solutions to do good and to do well. And I always say this to my team, doing good and doing well is not a marketing slogan, it's not a focus group result, it is something we believe in. We wanted to turn discoveries into solutions and actions, because when we do that, we believe we can create social and economic prosperities. We did it, we started in Riverside, our hometown, the city supported us, and the very first discovery we came across was from our neighboring University of California, Riverside, which is a discovery that blocks mosquitoes' ability to detect human beings. Right now, you either use DEET, which we know how toxic that is, or you use other natural solutions that may not be as effective. This discovery blocks mosquitoes' ability to detect CO2, therefore, they get blinded, they can't see human beings. Controlling the spread, of mosquito the spread of mosquito borne diseases is pretty significant. When I first came across this research, my initial impression was malaria and Africa. True, big problem. But the truth is, there are a lot more diseases that get spread by mosquitoes. Yellow fever, dengue, West Nile virus, and many others. And every 30 seconds, just from malaria alone, kids and a child dies. We took it on. Our next challenge, remember that we didn't have any resources. We actually took an empty warehouse in the city of San Bernardino. And if you heard of the city of San Bernardino, it's one of the hardest hit in the recession. We took an empty warehouse, and with the help of our investors and one of our shareholders, we turned an empty warehouse, vacant warehouse, to a research facility to start commercializing this discovery. <laughs> After that, I know what I don't know. I, I was educated way, way beyond my intelligence, and I am not the person to take such an amazing discovery and actually work on it until it becomes a real product. For three years, our amazing team that we brought on board worked tirelessly to figure out how to take this discovery and turn it into a product that we can actually take out to the outside world. Just about six months ago, eight months ago, middle of 2013, we reached the conclusion that our discovery is scientifically sound and can be used out there in the world. After all the work, after all the struggle, we had something that we believed can truly make a huge difference in people's lives. The issue was the same. We had no resources to get the word out. There are too many great innovations that are ready to be deployed that never see the light of day because of lack of resources. We went to the crowd and we wanted to raise $75,000 to do our very first field trial to learn about how people would use such pa patch, and we wanted to do that field trial in Uganda, the hardest hit region with malaria and mosquito-borne diseases. We did, uh, we wanted to raise 75 over 45 days, and the first four, four days we reached our limit, and the word went viral. By end of 45 days, we had 11,254 people from all over the world supporting us to get such amazing discovery out to the world. <laughs> the money's great, but I tell you what made this that much more special is how everyone from all over the world actually came in to support us because they believed in the same mission that we did. 
So now let me tell you this. With one discovery, and working on turning this discovery into an actual solution, into action, we turned an empty warehouse to a research lab. We brought in recent graduates to participate in the commercialization process. We have scientists that are currently working on it, and most importantly, we took research that probably would not have seen the light of day, and now it has the potential of making a mega difference in, in the world. UNC Chapel Hill, do you believe there are two more discoveries out there that would be worth turning into solutions and actions? Please. <laughs> One more time. If you believe it, let me hear it. Do you believe there are two more discoveries that are worth turning into actions and turning into solutions? Yes. How about five? Yes. How about 50? Yes. How about 100, 500? Yes. The solution is in us. The dots are all around us, and it's up to us to connect the dots. That's collaborative entrepreneurship. That's reaching for altitude together. Thank you.